time. It is, Mika. It's time for a little news <laughs> you can't use. So Mitt and me took a little breather from the campaign trail over the weekend. Oh, don't do that. To take in Family a heartwarming hurts. film about children killing oh, other yeah. children for the amusement of the people. <laughs> Mitt Romney's son, Matt Romney, tweeted this over the weekend. My dad's finally getting a little R&R &R this weekend. Pick here at the movies today with me and my kids. So the Romney family did see The Hunger Games, that monster oh movie gosh. that brought in 155 million bucks in its opening weekend. Wait, Third wait, highest wait, debut ever. Wait, they brought the yeah. wait, wait, Willie, Willie, yeah. let's show that picture. They did not take those little kids to see a movie where teenagers are hunted down and killed, are they? I, they, they did. I believe they did. Yeah. Those are Mitt Matt Romney. Romney's kids. And he was asked about it. Yeah. He those was are, asked about it. Those are young kids. So the, mm -hmm. so the candidate gave his review yesterday of The Hunger Games to Wolf Blitzer. Here's what he said. I enjoyed it. I actually read the books, too. You know, I read serious books, but every now and then I read something just for fun, and that was a, that was a weekend fun, so it was nice to be able to see a flick. First time in a long time. Well, it's PG-13. Is it a little too violent, though, for young kids? I think it's uh, I think it's a little disturbing for young kids. I think the PG-13 is an appropriate uh, um, uh, indication of the seriousness of the film. But I'm over 13 now. Wow. <laughs> He's over 13 now. Come on, man. Wait, wait what's going on? He, he did not he did not read the books. We know he is not telling the Please truth. Please tell me he did. I don't even know if he went to see the movie. You know, because he always, you know, do you go hunting? And it's like, yes, I, I shoot varmints. Did you, did, you, did you go see the Hunger Games? I like talkies. Like, they're not called talkies anymore, man. I mean, come but on. He might, this nerd. might be a real joke because it's part of a trend. You remember last year, our friend Jamie Gangel sat down with Mitt Romney, oh, right. and he disclosed that he's also a big fan of the young adult Twilight films. No, he is not. I like the silly stuff, too. I mean, I like the uh, the Twilight series. I thought that was fun. Uh, and I mean, my... my you like uh, vampires. My, I, I, I don't like vampires, personally. I don't know any. But, my, you know, my granddaughter was uh, was reading it, and I thought, wow, this looks like fun. And so, uh, yeah, I read that. Vampires and science fiction. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone would have guessed this. See, he likes silly stuff. In that same interview, he said he loves nice American guy. Idol. He's got nice. young grandkids. He is a nice guy. Be nice. <laughs> you know, he, he is a nice guy, but come on, take your kids to, like, see Hugo, or like, order them out on TV, or Lorax, yeah. or. Or if you and your wife watch Midnight in Paris, don't go see, like, movies that we know you're not watching. How He's, like, in the back. Come on, Will. Are you disturbed by this like I am? I, I actually take him at his word on this one. I think he likes the young adult book every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and wants to see if the film was true to the book. <laughs> Come on, man. This is like George H.W. Bush I'm saying trying. that he listened to country music and ate pork rinds. Stop, stop it. Stop. Make it stop. That, this is not why people are going to like me. I'm just going to stop now. Yeah. I'll believe you.